Now, the first one is really simple. It's praise in public, chastise in private. Now, how often have you walked into a, or been sitting in a room or a conference room with six or seven or maybe a dozen of your peers and the boss walks in and proceeds to chew on somebody's butt? If this is a, um, a naval audience or a military audience, I use different terms, but the chewing out happens. And you sitting there become very uncomfortable. Two things have happened besides your discomfort. One, the person who is being chewed on is embarrassed. And two, more importantly, the leader has lost credibility. Because by, do, by, ch by chastising in public, he basically embarrasses himself as well as, as his subordinate. How often, and here's another situation, if you're a sports fan and you listen to sports talk radio as I do, you hear all the time, so-and-so needs to get in the other guy's grill and show some leadership and scream at him. Huh? What you really ought to do in the chastised part of this is that you need to pull the person aside, go into a private setting, and ask them three simple questions. What happened? Why did it happen? And how are you going to prevent it from happening in the, in the future? And if they, don't, they start blaming people, you cut it off, then you know it's spin. But if they truly will answer the, the questions, and if you as a leader have trained them to answer questions like this, then you're going to get a pretty good response. And then you as a leader, you can just determine whether you're going to chew on their butt. You're going to say, OK, fine, let's move on. We've learned from it, and, and go on. The second half of this, praise in public, is really simple. You walk into a meeting room, again, you have the same six or seven people, and the, the, the leader says, hey, before we get started, I want to talk about so-and-so, and he gives them all kinds of kudos. What happens at that point is the leader's stature increases. More importantly, the person who's being praised becomes what I refer to as a disciple. So if that person was, for example, one of the clueless of the bystanders, you've made a friend. If it was one of the, one of the people that were getting in the way of uh, getting stuff done, you've again begin to move them more towards your side. So praise in public, chastise in private.